Welcome back, everyone. Um, boy, by this time, I'm really missing you guys. I don't know how you feel at home, but I'm just imagining that you're here with me. Um, and soon we'll be together, so I do know that. And hello to everyone. Um, hi, parents. Hi, students. Our story today is about Zacchaeus. I have an interesting question. Um, how many of you have met anybody famous? Um, ever met a princess before? Has Superman ever made an appearance at anybody's birthday party? Okay, if Superman walked into my yard, I know I what I would be doing. I would be pressing through that crowd, doing everything I can to meet that man. Um, it's just amazing to meet somebody that that is just larger than life, right? Um, what if you've ever seen anybody famous uh, driving down the road, driving in L.A.? walking in Disneyland and Mickey Mouse walks by, right? What do you do? Hey, mom, 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 there's Mickey. Let's go meet him. Exciting, right? Famous people do get us excited. and We definitely want to meet them, see them, get close to them. Well, today our story is about a man who encounters the most famous person of all times. And 
how that person changed his life. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'd love to meet Superman. I'd love to get a picture with Mickey Mouse, but once that's over, they haven't done anything that has impacted my life directly. So let's read this story about a man who meets the most famous person of all time, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector in Jericho. He was rich, he had lots of money, and all his money came from collecting taxes. Um, Sometimes Zacchaeus and the other tax collectors would collect taxes, and they would take more than their share, keep, keep some of that for themselves. Um, this made Zacchaeus a very lonely man. He had very few friends. One day, as he sat all by himself, he heard the sounds of many people passing by his house. What could be going on? Zacchaeus went outside, and he saw that the road was filled with people, and he listened at their exciting voices. Jesus is coming this way they were saying. Zacchaeus had heard of Jesus. He had heard that Jesus was friendly and even toward tax collectors like himself. <laughs> Zacchaeus longed to see what Jesus looked like, but Zacchaeus was a very short man, and he was standing in the back of the crowd, now lining the road. And when he tried to squeeze to the front, people were pushing, and they're like, no, no, and they got in tighter, and they wouldn't let him through. So, Zacchaeus had no hope of seeing Jesus by standing on the side of the road. He was desperate, though. He wasn't going to give up. He was going to do anything to meet this famous person, right? Someone he had heard about, such great things about. So he could tell by the sounds of the crowd that Jesus was getting closer, and it appeared that Jesus was right about to pass by. Then Zacchaeus had an idea. Farther down the road was a sycamore tree. Zacchaeus ran to that tree and he began to climb as quickly as he could and he was out of breath when he reached the top and he hoped that he wouldn't be too late to see Jesus. Once the wealthy tax collector was perched on the branches of the tree, he had the perfect view of the road and he could see the crowd toward him, coming toward him and in the midst of the people, he could see Jesus. Somehow Zacchaeus knew that once that he saw him, he knew who Jesus was the instant he saw him. Zacchaeus walked, watched the crowd get closer and closer, and, you know, the excitement is welling, and now they were passing by the sycamore tree, and some of them were right underneath him. Jesus was almost there, and suddenly Jesus stopped, and he looked straight at Zacchaeus. Jesus said to, Zac to him, Zacchaeus, come down. Today, I must stay at your house. It was a moment or two before Zacchaeus even realized what had happened. Stay at my house? Jesus is talking to me? <laughs> then it filled him with excitement and joy, and he climbed down that tree. Jesus wanted to stay with him? You're very welcome in my house, Zacchaeus replied. It's just a short gist distance from here. Let me show you the way. Now Zacchaeus was not squeezed to the back of the crowd. He did not have to try to jump up and down to see him. He didn't even have to climb another tree. He was leading the way with Jesus behind him. When people saw what Jesus had did, they began to mutter, look at that. Jesus is actually going to visit the house of a sinner. When Zacchaeus heard these words, he stopped. Master, he said, I'll give half of my belongings to the poor, and if I've cheated anyone, I'll give them back four times as much. And there was gasp and surprise by the people. Jesus said to them, Salvation has come to this house today for this man is also a son of Abraham remember the son of man has come to seek and save those who have strayed from God now Christ was followed by believers you wouldn't follow someone you didn't believe in right all the crowd all the people that were following him to see him they were already believers but as Christ has done so many times when he walked this earth and since he leaves the crowd of believers and he seeks out the ones who have strayed off. He cares for you. He cares for your loved ones that aren't serving him right now. And he will do anything he can 
to bring them back to him. So Zacchaeus heard Jesus' words, and he felt happier than he'd ever been felt before. Gladly, Zacchaeus led him to his house. And after Jesus had visited Zacchaeus, he continued on his way toward Jerusalem. And the people thought about the many things Jesus had taught them that day. And hopefully today you have learned something. You have absorbed something in your spirit, maybe that can change your way of thinking. Um, there are many people out there who have strayed. We work with them. We go to school with them. We, we, are, we love them. We care about them, right? So does Jesus. Jesus cares about the ones who have strayed too. And he will do what he can to go after them. He will do what he can to bring them into his fold. The incredible thing is that Jesus is actually seeking after you too. He says that Zacchaeus and those that gathered around him that came to seek that he had come to seek and save the lost. So Jesus was the one seeking Zacchaeus all along, not the other way around. Jesus was pressing through the crowd equally to get to Zacchaeus because he cared for him so much. And he will press through the crowd and he will find the ones that are lost. He will not let them go without having an opportunity to ask him into their heart and to receive salvation. He wants to show you that he is a good God with great plans for you. Um, you will, will you decide to run after him? Will you press through the crowd? Will you be like, hey, there's Christ walking down the road. I have to get to him. And I hope you are in your heart. I hope you are in your mind, your spirit, your soul. Um, so when Zacchaeus finally encountered Jesus, just a little summary of our wonderful story. When Zacchaeus finally encountered Jesus, it changed his whole life, right? He started out as a tax collector and even a sinner because he took more than his share. So he stole from people. But the second Christ came into his heart, what did he do? He didn't say, okay, I'll stop sinning. He went above and beyond. He said, I'm going to give more um, I'm going to do more and I'm going to repent of my sins. I'm going to make up for the wrongdoings that I've done. So take this lesson with you today and I hope that you grow in Christ and I will see you very soon. Whatever the distance or darkness, you're with me. You're with me Whenever I'm failing or falling You've got me You've got me